In this video, we're going to look at adding images into a Comic Life project. Usually, at this point in time with my students, my students have already created a storyboard. And so I don't care at this point if they add images or text first. When they create the storyboard, the text always has to come first. But since in, in theory they've already done that part, I, I don't care if they add the images or text at this point or not. I'm going to add the images first. So I'm going to go to my very first upper left hand box and I'm going to press the little circle with the little add image icon in the middle of it. And I'm going to choose an image from my, my iPad here. And I am going to choose this one from the little character. When you add an image, the image comes in in its original size and the box serves as a mask. Any part of that image that is not within the box when you click away will not show in the comic book. So if I wanted to, I could tap and hold him in the middle of his image, drag him down, and I could let go. And I'm going to tap away, and now I only see the top half of his body. I want the whole thing, so I'm going to double click the image itself. I can see the whole thing is selected, although it's not all in the box, and I'm going to click and drag basically. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab the upper right hand blue circle to click and drag to adjust his size to make him fit in the box the way that I want him to. I want him to go all the way down to the bottom. I want to see the whole thing. Now I'm going to click over in the blue area to click away. There he is, except his head's kind of touching my box, my text box. I'm going to double, whoops, a single tap, by the way, a single tap selects the box you put the image in. A double tap will select the image itself. Double tap. And if you remember in the last video, there's a difference between a single tap, a double tap, and two taps. Basically, between a double and two, there's just more time. So I'm going to grab the top right corner. I'm going to make him a little smaller. And I'm going to tap in the blue to tap away. And there is my image. So just as a recap, I'm going to go to the next box. I'm going to tap the insert image icon in the middle. I'm going to choose an image from my iPad. And then he's larger than the image box. So I'm going to grab a little blue circle and I'm going to drag. And then I'm going to tap and hold in the middle of him to move the image around. And I will pause the video while I add the last two images. I quickly added the last two images and I shrank down the bottom portion that adds the text bubbles and stuff to give me a little bit more screen real estate. But I do want to show you a couple more things about images here. I'm going to look at this little fella in the bottom right corner that's above the Kerrang title text. I'm going to pinch out on my iPad to give myself a little, little wiggle room here. And I'm going to tap that little guy. I'm, I'm sorry, I should have double tapped. Double tap, and there he is. If I hold down two fingers within that box and start to turn like I'm going to rotate, the image will rotate as well. And this is why I zoom in, because it's his feet I'm interested in. And it's a little bit tricky to see with my big old hands in the way. So I've turned him. I'm going to grab two um, now I'm going to grab one finger, press and hold, and I'm going to bring him down a little bit. I want him standing on top of the title. He's a little bit large. I see a tiny part of his hand out of frame. Probably wouldn't usually worry about that, but I feel like being picky at the moment. Grab a corner, click and drag, like that. So you can rotate images once they are in the Comic Life page. I'm going to zoom back out. With my little guy still selected, I'm going to go to the upper right hand corner and I'm going to select the eye with the circle around it. I'm going to tap it and it's going to give me information about whatever I have selected, in this case the image. I have just a plain old picture and that little dog with the little red thing in his mouth is telling me the, the effects I have attached to my image. I'm going to tap the image tab that's in the middle 
And here are different options, and there are three little screens. You can see that because of the little dots underneath. Three different screens of options. So, so let's say I choose one, choose another, and look at the little man. Look what happens to him. Okay, so I am going to go back and do the original, which is just a plain image. And now I can also go to arrange. Every time you add something in Comic Live, it goes into a layer. So there are going to be times when you need to relayer some stuff. For example, I'm going to tap away from all of this, and I'm going to tap and hold with one finger that little fella and bring him down. And I can see he is behind the title text. That's probably just fine, but maybe I want him in front. With the man still selected, I tap the eye in the upper right corner. I go to arrange and I start to move this little scroll bar. And if you look, now I've moved it all the way to the right and the little man is in front of that text. Now, that's a little hard to see. I might choose different text or a different image, so I'll just bring him down a little lower. Whoops, not grab the corner. Like that. Ultimately, for what I'm doing, that doesn't matter, but you should know you can do it. And while I'm at that, a wonderful little button is in the upper left-hand corner called Undo. On a Mac, it's Command-Z, Edit Undo. It's a lovely, lovely little feature. And I'm going to undo till it goes right back to where I had him before, maybe. Undo, undo, and there, whoops, a little bit more than that. And there he is. Those are the basics of how to add images and manipulate them within Comic Life iPad app. In the next video, we're going to look more at the text.